Hello and welcome in this new video we are going to talk about the table views inside Applica. So the table views is one of the main component, most important component that you can find in iOS. It makes lists, it makes a lot of thing, different things. It's very powerful and in a cooker it's the real list. So we're going to have uh, quite some time here to really get through the, uh, you know, all the options and possibilities that you can find. So um, first I'm going to get this list quite, you know, some space like that. So what I can do is I can change the size of the rows. So for example, you know, some rows at 60s can be good. Uh, Apple recommend you that you don't go lower than 44, which is the default setting. So if you want to go and, you know, be like the regular guy, 44 is the way to go. <clears throat> you can change the style. So there are two different styles. So I'm going to put those two side by side. So I'm going to duplicate it. <clears throat> and I'm going to make this a grouped table view. So this is exactly the same table view, but with two different, you know, look and feel. So I can change the color of the cells if I want, uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going back, I can show or hide the separators, and I pretty much, you know, prefer to use the separators like that. And there's also the editing mode. So you will see something very cool when you are in the editing mode. If I double tap, I'm going into the what we call the live mode and I can take a row and I can change it like that. I can move things around. And this is a pretty unique feature that you know you will find only in AppCooker. So I can keep that row like that, but I'm gonna switch back to the normal mode. And then I am able, of course, to customize the, the sections. So I'm going into the sections. As you can see here, the sections, section zero has three cells. They're here. Section one, one cell, it's here. So we're going to get into section zero. I can change the header name. If I don't, if I remove it and I just go back like that, it will remove the section header. I can duplicate the last cell. And I'm not going to do that. I'm going to remove all of those cells. I'm going to show you something. Because most of the time when you are designing a table view, what you do is you define a style for your title. So those four different cell style are the four different default cell style that a developer will find inside um, the SDK, inside Xcode. I strongly recommend you to use those and try not to find something else. I mean, just for the mock-up part, just for your first prototype. Then you will be able to find something that is better, fancier. But right now, try to stick with the simple, efficient cell style that are here. So I'm going to take this one over here. And as you can see, I can change the title. So I'm going to use like Apple. I'm going to put you know, like Apple in here. And the subtitles are good. And that's it. As you can see on the left side here, it's updated. I'm going to go back here. Oops, sorry. Going back. And here, if I tap here on the on the on this uh, information icon, what it's going to do is it's going to bring me into like the fine tuning option. So I can make the apple bigger, can change the font, I can change the color, I can go for a green apple, and I can also align it. So right now it's aligned on the right side. I'm going to align it on the left side. I'm going to go back. I'm going to change the Argo for a bigger font and I'm going to use light ethylic and I'm going to put it in red. Apple are good. 
And now that I've done that, I can also change the accessory button. So I can put it none. I can put a disclosure indicator. And again, those cell accessories, they are the default one. You can almost do anything you want uh, with the code and with a good developer. But note that this doesn't cost anything. It's included inside the SDK. It's included in Xcode. And the developer, if you give him something very basic, something like that, it will be like 10 times easier for him to code after that. So again, your choice, but I advise you to go to, to stick with that way. So now that I've done that, I can duplicate the last cell. And now it's like formatted to my needs, to what I want to do, and it's pretty good. So that's the power of the table views inside Akuka. So I also have um, some questions about um, the split view that is available only in the iPad. So in another video, remember I told you that in the widget section, when you're working on an iPad, you have more options. Here they are, the split view, the popover, and the model view. So the, note that there is the menu popover here and there is the popover. So the popover is something that you can find only in the iPad applications, just like the split view, just like the model view. So let's go and use a split view. The split view is going to put this on the canvas. And what's going to happen is I can turn just one side. Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what's happening because it's not selected. So you can change the background color of the master and change with the detail view, something like that. Now I can put this, I'm gonna bring it to the front. I'm gonna change the background color here. And I can really tweak the, the thing to my needs. So what I do generally is I also use the um, status bar, navigation bar, and note that here, for the navigation bar, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and align it on the guides because basically the split view is something that gives you the guides to, to make a split view. And I can also duplicate this, move back here, and go there. I'm gonna put it like just a bit behind the status bar. And note that the status bar just quickly, I can change to dark content or light content. I can change the provider name, which is, you know, like uh, in France, it's free. So I'm going to put it free because I love them. And I can also change the time. So that's pretty great when you want to make some really good, really pixel perfect screenshot with a particular name and um, carrier. It's, it's pretty good. So that's that's it. I mean, with uh, those simple tool, I can really create very quickly all the interface that I want. Thank you for watching.